And speaking of ballots, we are closely monitoring a lawsuit coming from, Pen from the Pennsylvania Republican Party asking the Supreme Court to block a ballot extension that was recently allowed. Lindsay Ward joins us live with where the lawsuit stands and what this could mean for Election Day. Lindsay, what is this pertaining to? Heather, good morning to you. This is a pretty big deal because we're talking about Pennsylvania, which we have reported in the past is a pretty big battleground state. And when it comes to the election, there's been a record number of people voting by mail because of the coronavirus. And with that, whatever is decided in this case could impact some of those mail in ballots. Now, this is what the Republican Party within Pennsylvania is requesting of the Supreme Court. They want them to quickly take up this case to block counties in Pennsylvania from counting mailed in ballots received up to three days after the November 3rd election. On Friday, the Republican Party filed the case after the justices were divided four to four on putting a hold on the extension. This left in place a state Supreme Court ruling that required county election officials to receive and count mailed in ballots that arrive up to November 6th, as long as there's no proof it was mailed after the polls closed. Republicans have opposed the extension, arguing that it violates federal law that sets the Election Day as the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November. With Democrats voting by mail at an almost three to one rate over the Republicans, the possibility of ballots getting disqualified because they arrive late could pose a threat to Biden's candidacy. Now, most states make Election Day the deadline for regular mail and votes or even absentee ballots, but there are some states, about 20 of them, that do have a deadline after Election Day. Reporting this morning, I'm Lindsay Ward, KDK News.